1051 is the Breakfast Club. We got Brooklyn's own Mayno in the building. Yeah, the yeah, Mafia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Bush Montana. Yeah. Fresh. Lucky Dawn. Yeah. Swig Martin, Hustle Hard Mouse. Yeah, we in here. What's happening? The whole Mafia is here. Oh, mine is a couple people. Yeah. Yeah, huh. I don't well, see Mouse. Yeah, Mouse, Mouse, Mouse okay, couldn't make it. Mouse said I'm not getting up that early. Gotti, Gotti, Gotti is, uh... <laughs> Gotti's still on the block. Gotti, Gotti still, uh, half drunk from his, his birthday celebration. Oh, okay. Gotti don't drink, so then when he drink, it's like an event. Ah. Uh, he old school drunk, so like... How many fights you got in the last night? <laughs> now nah, you know what? This is two nights ago. He's still drunk now. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> ah, terrible. Oh, my goodness. So, <laughs> so, it, well, so is Envy and Charlemagne. Huh? Envy and Charlemagne both, um, are still drunk from last from night. From what? Last I wasn't night? drinking. I had, I had some food poisoning. I was praying to the white porcelain guard, little, little, little couple That's hours nothing ago. wrong with that every now and then. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. It's good yeah. for the yeah. soul. Yeah, it's Did good for the, the soul. Runs? Nah, no runs. Just, you know, just praying. <laughs> I was definitely drinking. I ended up in Montclair, New Jersey last night. How did you get, how did you do that? She took me there. She? The woman I was with, yeah. Who was you with? No firecrashes in the building, right? Matter of fact. <laughs> no firecrashes in the building, right? Story. One of the twins, I was with them. Yeah. 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 Yeah
I like that. I like that effect because you know people still sleeping. They still asleep, and I like to keep them that way, man. Mm -hmm. You understand? So right. sometimes you know you, you, it, that's that's to your advantage. Use that to your advantage, you know. So you know, and I know, and you know, and I know. There's a couple of white people that like Mano. And there's some people that were mad too. I saw Mona Scott. She was like, man. Yeah, Mona, she yeah, told me I've been yeah. trying to get Mano on Love and Hip Hop for yeah. ever. Shout out to Mona. Well, I do Love uh, and Hip Hop when you can do your own thing. Charlamagne, I see where you're going with it. Okay, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. It's a lot of good energy in the room. I like it. A lot of nice watches and stuff. You know, shout out to Mona. You know, but yeah, hey, she man, did say that. I, I got a vision, man, and, and you know, I, it's certain things that I want to, um, I want to get out there and, 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 and you know, give to the people and stuff. That I, I just don't feel like that was something that I wanted to do. Now, what made you good. decide to start this whole movement? Um, why not? You know, the thing is, you know, people been seeing me doing my thing. It's always been Black Flag, Black Flag City, Black Flag Mafia. And, you know, and it, you know Brooklyn and just with the whole, you know, everybody complaining about what we don't have and what mm -hmm. we're not doing and stuff like that. And I stopped complaining. I stopped complaining on um, December 23rd, 2009. Right, I, I haven't heard you. I never hear you complain about. Yeah, anything. I don't complain about the state of where we at with it and all that. So I just try to find ways to um, actually just help whatever the movement is. You understand? And just if that's just putting out hot records and, and stuff like that, and, 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 and touring and and just just trying to stay visible, then that's what I do. But I just felt like I had time right now. You know where I'm at right now in my life to say, you know what, push, push been with me since day one. Right. Push. push, push been with me on all my projects, every mixtape I ever had, my albums, he's been there. My man Lucky Dawn, you know, Mouse, Twig, you know, it, it was that time for us to create something. It's a lot of new things going on in Brooklyn, a new stadium, new energy, new women, new, new everything. Women. <laughs> you understand? So it was like it's about that time for me to actually showcase what else what else I got going on. Now coming from Brooklyn, has anybody from Junior Mafia been upset that you know y'all got the mafia? What's that? Junior Oh, damn that was <laughs> that was a long that was a minute. You don't remember his, his that was a minute. With, that was I mean minute. I know he that backed was, up seeds. <laughs> like, anybody say, yo, what the hell? you know he was Junior Mafia now y'all nah, 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 you know what? You know at at the end of the day it's like this, y'all man. Everything that's been done in hip hop you know, it's not. It's, I mean, it's three six mafia, this mafia, like yeah. it, it, it. You know, it's not. It's not nothing new. No idea. You understand it, right? It, it, yeah. So it's not really a thing about junior mafia, or what have you. You understand? You know, big put Kim on. Kim helped me, so I kind of fall from that same tree, gotcha. to some degree. So it's mm -hmm. definitely no disrespect. But this is we in a whole nother era. What's that? 10, 15 years. Absolutely. In the past, so mm -hmm. we talking to kids. Push out here talking to kids that's that's 17, 18 years old. They don't. They don't really identify with that. So this is, it's always ways to keep things new and fresh, and, you know, and, and at the end of the day, at the foundation of it, the music is good. The music was good. If the music wasn't good, I wouldn't be here right now. If the music wasn't good, I wouldn't be on Envy Line to play records. I wouldn't do that. I, I'm, I'm a dude that if I'm, if I'm not going to come unless I got something. Right. The music is good. That's right. That's why you didn't show up last week. <laughs> Push, young man. What's up, my brother? Fresh. What's happening, Charlotte? So what do you bring to the game, my brother? Oh man, I bring that old soul, that that nine six, that that big, that that J, that Pac, that Scarface, all in one with the new, with the wittiness and the cleverness. You know what I'm saying? To, mm. to be relevant, but I, I speak to the soul. Mm. What do y'all feel? What do y'all feel about the state of New York hip hop? Do y'all even care? Um, I feel like like we the state of hip hop. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's different things going on, but. <clears throat> we putting our best foot forward and we pushing the genre forward. That's what we doing. We bringing it back and bringing it forward at the same time. We bringing that old flavor of the, when you had to you had to rap. You know what I'm saying? You couldn't just rap. Boys rapping. You you gotta rap. I'm I'm really nice. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Lucky Don really raps. You know what I'm saying? Aside from making good records, so we just gonna make these good records and, and push this genre forward. Do y'all feel like New York is still stagnant? Me personally, I don't really get into all that no more. You know it is what it is. You know because for every for every, for every complaint, there's there's another answer. And then when you when you feel that answer, they first they say, "Yo, we're not making good records." And I'm like, "Yo, we make dudes here making records." And they said, "There's no unity." And then then, then then I did a song called "Let's Keep It Rocking" and put the whole New York together. And then it's just like it's always excuses. I don't, I don't even care. Yeah, yeah, like, it's always a problem. It's always a problem. It's like okay, it's this, then we do that. Mm -hmm. and, you understand? Know you feel so, like New York people just want too many favors. That and the fact that I just think that we became, we got into this whole following state of mind. Like mm -hmm. we just accepting, accepting music opposed to actually breaking it. You got to look to yourself and say to yourself as a DJ, what's the last record that we broke from here? Mm -hmm. How many records a year are we breaking from here? Mm -hmm. 
not that many. But you also got to say, what what artists are making good records from New York? I think a few it's are a few, making. Yeah. I think there's yeah, a couple, definitely. and those are the ones that break. I got, there's, no, there's no, 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 no. Maybe no, there's no, some good no. records that weren't broken. No, 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 no. Marvin. I heard there was well, some. See, well, I heard there was some controversy yeah. on the, at that video um, set too. They were saying somebody didn't want to be there because Karen that, Gavano. That was some Italian issue. Yeah, man. Some, I ain't, that's some Italian. I ain't got nothing to do with that. I know, <laughs> isn't that crazy? Because you don't know anything about that, and then you're doing a video, and you're like, wait a minute, I had it's no the women, idea. Women, man, it's women and Italians and. Mm-hmm. And, and, and cold and <laughs> so, back, so back to Marvin. Why do you think Marvin didn't break? Um, I don't know. Just like it, 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 I, 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 I mean, it didn't break the way I wanted it to break. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't. I thought that could be us. Should have broken a little bigger. Yeah, I that like, yeah, much yeah, bigger yeah. A lot of. I mean, but you know, we hindsight is twenty twenty. We can look at things and say what good records. You, you ask me a question and I give you the answer. I, I mean, what is the what? Why is it? I don't know. You That's know what I mean? Question. Like, were you playing it? 20 times a day? Well, see, the difference The difference between me is I play at a different time slot. Right, when, so I was, when, I was at, when I was doing my new tour, I broke records. Right. That's, that's right. what I did. But now right. I'm, at, I'm at a time where I can't break records like right. I did before. And it takes those DJs that are in those slots that are after 2 o'clock to break those yeah, records. And if indeed. they're not breaking those records, that means indeed. they're just being yes-men. Indeed. You know what I mean? And when it comes to my slot, right. 2 o'clock, I broke every record that came out in New York in, that, in mm-hmm. those two years. Right, right, right. You know what right. I mean? But I'm not in that position. Well, we're not, we, but it's, nobody's really doing it, though. I mean, when, we, when I say break them, I'm actually turn, like turn, taking these records and turning them into, into hits, not just local records that people right. know from, you know what I mean? But it is what it is. We can sit here and analyze it all, all, all the I time. I don't have the answer. I think you start smacking people again. Oh, Me? So- yeah, absolutely. No, 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 it's the truth. No, no, it's no, the truth. No, I'm going to tell you why. No, I'm going to tell you why. No, no, no. I'm going to tell you why. People I'm take, getting money, man. People take, I'm getting money, E. People, I'm down. getting money, E. But, but when you were, I'm going to let Lucky when you Don smacking, do it. I, well, Lucky Don got to do it then. Lucky Don. <laughs> when you were smacking people, yeah. people might not have respected you, but they were scared of you. And they played your records because they were scared until they respected you. And that was, uh, and that was like... Yeah, y'all want to y'all go back to that? Yes, I, no, I, I, we don't. We're taking it back to that. No, no, no. We're taking it back to that. I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm serious. When's the last time you walked in the club and said, you, you better play my record? You don't have to do I that. I like what gangster rappers I, I, I did it last night. Oh, okay. But I didn't have to do it like that, oh though. You gosh. understand? I, I, I just think that... I'm. At, well, the thing is this. I ain't never have a problem with people playing my record. It's actually taking a record to another, to, to right. another level. I, don't, I, I, you know what I mean? Because at, at the end of the day, we could complain about this not being that big. That could be a still was a top twenty record in the nation. So it was let it fly. So mm-hmm. I still make, I still at least chart right. every time I drop. So mm-hmm. you know, I don't know. I, I can't do that though. I'm yeah. That means with Envy's in the club, you're supposed to go up and smack him if he's not doing what yeah. he's supposed to do. <laughs> Envy, Envy's my friend. <laughs> you know the other problem I got with the DJs though, instead of just telling the artists, yo, the record ain't good, they'll be like, oh, I got you, I got you, I'ma play it, I'ma play it, and they don't never play it, but they, but they won't give you the reason why they didn't play it in the first place. You well, you know what? But the thing is, if if the DJ don't like it, I mean, he ain't got. But is it a such thing as letting the people decide? That's true too. Like let let's let the let the fans like because I'm sure you know sometimes y'all play records that y'all not all, all the way feeling. But y'all play them, and then people may like them and stuff like that. So you got to give a record a shot. I mean, look, look, I don't have no answer for it. All I know is that I'm going to continue to be unstoppable and continue to make good music. And where it end up, it end up. Right. Bottom line. Okay. What's everybody's role here for Push and Lucky Don? Like you guys. And, and Twig Martin is in the building Twig right Martin here. In the Twig Martin Twig. Twig. He look a little sleepy. You understand? <laughs> get him a, uh, get him a coffee, a coffee and some espresso. Some Lucky Don is clearly the shooter. <laughs> really, really. You can't be talking about smacking me. I'm telling you, man. Yeah, get him excited. Man. Did you, did you like you? You saying things? You throwing I'm, things out I'm, here? I'm telling you. I'm gonna be like your man. Tell Envy to send me a package next week, man. Really, <laughs> I'm telling you. I heard about all the commotion at the BTL Pop Awards. Didn't y'all wish I was there in the mix? No. No. I, on, said, I said no. What I said was, you know, um. Things, sometimes things need to happen for people to really understand. Like sometimes stuff like that need to happen. I don't know. Like I ain't really be getting into dudes' business. You understand? I I kind of concentrate on doing me. You understand? And, but the thing is about that, I can't be touching dudes because I can't get the other kind of money that I've been able to establish for myself. Gotcha. So then it closes doors. Like the hip hop is cool, but then there's other things also that, right. that, that, that you understand? Man, it was a very marketable he brand. He matured too much. Man, mature too much. No, not man. too much. He I'll too be ready. Much. I'll be with it. Man, I'm right, nah, trying to show you a different way, though. <laughs> because, be like, because the thing is this, though. Like, it's you, you, you want to, hip hop. Is a foundation, you understand? But let's let's be honest. Economically, it ain't what it used to be. Absolutely. So you really not gonna eat the way 
maybe that you would thought you was gonna eat back in the 90s or the early 2000s. Right. So you gotta market yourself. It's like promotion to do other things. And then when you're doing other things and when you get in other circles, then then all that really just scares the money away. You don't wanna scare the white people. Like when I'm in the yeah. offices, I hear them say, Mano's such a nice yeah, guy. Yeah, man, you know how long they it do. took. They do, everybody does say, Mano is so nice. But you know nice. how long it took really for them to him. get to work, to get to that? Remember, remember your first deal, they, the first thing they asked you when you got in the office, they said, so who'd you kidnap, man? Yeah, <laughs> all that, like, yeah. We did kidnap. We should crew, like, I'm like, look, man, like, I, you know how many talks, you know how many people what? called me and, and, and like gave me lectures and, at night about you need to chill out. Mano got the worst phone ever. <laughs> I, got a, I got a black phone. No, got no, a, we got, got, I'm talking about your internet machine. Oh, uh, <laughs> talk about your answer machine. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, a white guy. Hi, this. this is Bill Russell. <laughs> this is I'm not here right now. <laughs> yeah. If you leave your name and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, man. Did I call the wrong number? Man, I'm like, <laughs> not in Stevens lawyer office. <laughs> At what point did you realize you had to make that transition, though, man? Like, who did you smack and went home one night and be like, you know what, man, I gotta stop? This. Nah, when it when it just start when you, because what happens is they they box you out. You understand because other rappers they 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 they, they sit and they watch it and they think it's cool and stuff like that, but they want to stay away from you really at the same time. They don't really want to. They don't really be like nah, he a little, he really be. You know what I mean? So it's like you get to the point when when, when you just say, man, like I want to elevate. I want to I want to really get in the game. I want to be able to 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 make a living off this. But how I'm gonna make a living if I'm continuously, you know, subtracting? You understand? You, you know, it's like, mm. God bless you, he puts you in a position to change your life, but then all you're doing is, is fucking up. Right. Right. And that's true, and then it's hard for you to get shows, because yeah, you're nervous, all something's that, gonna happen. It's for everything, man. Now, push you a young, you a young dude, you know, what do you, what do you think of the, the, the new faces of New York? Because, like, you know, that New York had a sound in the 90s, and I think the sounds in New York has kind of changed. You got mm. the Nicki uh -huh. Minaj's, you got the ASAP Rockies, uh -huh. you know, even French, the French Montana, they don't necessarily sound like they from New York. Uh -huh. What do you think of that? Because you're like a traditional New York artist. Yeah. I think it's cool. Everybody got their own flavor. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got their own flavor. I'm a, I'll carry the flag for that old bringing it to the new. I'll carry that flag. Absolutely. But I'm I'm a fan. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I listen to everybody. Would you make a pop that? <clears throat> if I get the right record, if I feel, you know what I'm saying? Like, I go off the beat how I feel when I hear a beat and, and it come natural like that. So you I, make a super bass? <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> I would. He made us say I would. Listen, absolutely. I, I'm making a super bass. <laughs> well, I feel like Mano, you have a whole game plan laid out now. Things yeah. it seems like things yeah. are different, and you have yeah. a whole entire yeah. like. I feel like you sat down and came up with like a whole timeline yeah. of yeah, yeah. what you want to do, when you want to do it, new right. plans. Exactly. I figured out what I actually could do. You understand? What you know? Fortunately, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm an artist that you, when I do come, I come and I, I get to travel around the country and I get to do different things and I got great relationships around the country. So I was like, you know, it's time. It's time for me to do something different. It's time for me to bring new energy into the game. You understand? Because, you know, who knows, you know, how far these boys right here could take it. Mm -hmm. I believe in them. The music is great. So why not? You know, why not call call up my friends, you know, and introduce them, you know what I'm saying, to New <laughs> York friends. City the right way. You mm -hmm. understand? Right. And, and, and it's just it's just about keeping 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 the movement alive, keeping hip hop with new energy. Right. That's it. Yeah. That's all we need it. Like we need it. Like we can't continuously hold on to the old and then expect for things to get better. Right. Mm -hmm. Brooklyn's on fire right now too. Yes, indeed. Yeah. What does what the next mean to you, man? Being a native Brooklynite. It's good, man. It's good. I think that that's Brooklyn pride. I haven't been in the center yet. I'll be down there tomorrow. Um, you like the Nets and the Knicks? Yeah, I'm going for. I'm, it's like I look at it like I got. We got two chances of getting to the championship. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a Brooklyn boy, but I mean. We grew up on the Knicks too. Mm -hmm. You ever kicked it with Jay? You ever, you ever kicked? Um, not not a deep conversation, but yeah. when I see him, it's like, what up? What up? What's good? How you, man? See you out there, and it's all good. Yeah. It's respect, you know. But um, that's where the buck stops. Yeah. You you wasn't a fan of his back in the day. Why? Well, yeah, I was a fan. I was a fan. Yeah. Like the way he moved out here. Well, you know, when you know when you're a young rapper and then you coming up, you don't, and then you ain't got no guidance. You ain't got nobody to. To, to, to lead you in the right right areas, you you saying all kind of shit, you know what I'm saying? So me, I just was like, I didn't get it gotcha. because I wasn't in the game. Now I now I get it. Now mm -hmm. I understand why certain things is done and why dudes move the way they move. So uh -huh. you know my perspective is a little bit different. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm lucky down with y'all. I don't know if I like mature man, though, man. Huh? <laughs> 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 I want to get the don't. 
I want Henry. Henry. Yo, Charlemagne. I'm going to tell you straight up right now. He only drink room temperature water. Henry, don't. These guys got it easy. They ain't have to go through what we have to go through. These guys have it easy. And I think it's only right that the circle continues <laughs> and you just start grabbing them, slapping them. Because a lot of people talk tough because of the social media. Remember, there was no social media back when yeah. we started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was no talk tough. It was, you going to see Mano and, you, and what you going to do when you see him? You going to you gonna talk that tough? Or are you gonna say, you know what, Mano? Every bad. time I see Mano, he's such a nice guy. Yeah, because you ain't. But, uh, but you know what? As soon as I leave, something happens. I'm, I'm in the club with Mano. All right, y'all, good night. I'm gonna go home. I gotta get up early. Mano directing the brawl. Remember when he was in that party with you and said, Teddy, you was just pointing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? I'm in a dangerous situation. My guys, they go. Like, they go. Go, they go. Quick. Y'all just seen that over too? I just see my brother, 80. 80. 80. Shout out to 80. 80's doing good. He was in the strip club. I bet. Yeah. He, he, he loved them strip clubs. If you don't know who 80 is, 80 was um one of the person that came up with Mano. Like they were like brothers. That's right. Still are brothers. Still, still, still are. And he was uh he got shot by a police officer mm -hmm. and uh -huh. paralyzed waist down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he said he said he's starting to feel a little feeling in his legs and he feels like he's gonna walk soon. Yeah, definitely. Had a good yeah. conversation you, know, you can't keep club. him out them strip clubs though. <laughs> 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 he told me he was gonna walk again though. Exactly. He was there, yeah. Bunch of money, and just having a yeah. good time, smiling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Smiling. Yeah. Well, it's Something the breakfast club. Feet. That made me think of when me and Mano was in the strip club. <laughs> And what happened? What was that? When, 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 when you almost that poor girl's backside. Oh, yeah, it was. Yeah, she liked that dog. They was smacking her so hard, man. Disrespectful. <laughs> she she finally turned around, like, okay, now. <laughs> Don't put that on me. It wasn't just you, okay. <laughs> well, it's the Breakfast Club on Power yeah. 1051, Mayno the Mafia. Make sure mafia. you get the mixtape. Where can they get the mixtape? It's all over. It's livemixtape.com. That piff is everywhere. That's you know, my BRF right there. You know, you need to get that. You need that. If you don't have it, BRF. you need to have that in your life. The best rapper friend. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 105.1.